Welcome to Raheem. He's Tony. And he's Jim. On our new YouTube channel, we want to show you how we live life in Raheem. We're going to give you tips about accommodation, transportation, bars and restaurants, the local beaches, tourist attractions, and hopefully teach you some of the Thai language as we go along. We're going to show you some accommodation which we think is really good value for money, especially focusing on condominiums under 10,000 baht per month. We're going to show you the bars where we like to hang out, let you meet some of the managers and also some of the locals. We will also show you the best restaurants in town, not the places where the tourists go, but the places that the locals know about. We will also show you the best tourist attractions in town, places where you can spend a day with your family and friends. We're going to take you to the best beaches, Wahin Beach and other places along the coast. We'll show you where you should stay, the best value for money, where you can get food and do different water sport activities. We will also show you the best way to get from the airport to Wahin and also the best way to travel around town while you are here. And finally, we want you to learn a little bit of the Thai language as we go. So we're going to show you in every video a few phrases that you can learn to make your stay in Wahin all the better when you come here. In this first episode, we're going to show you what we think is the best Fairy for Money condo in town. And it's just around the corner. Okay, so this is the first condo we're going to show you. This is called the Room Residence. It consists of seven floors. Uh, we're going to look at a room on the second floor. We're also going to look at a room on the seventh floor. Each floor, the price goes up by 500 baht per floor. So the cheapest is on the second and the most expensive is on the top. So many cap guys. Okay, so we're going to look at uh, the most expensive room. This is on the seventh floor, which is the top of the hotel. Um, let's go inside and take a look. Okay, as you come in, you've got you've got a small galley kitchen here. I believe all um, everything is equipped here, all your kitchen equipment and everything else. You come in third. To your right side, you have a small bathroom, very clean and tile, very nice. Then you have your bedroom, a big king size bed. King size bed and a small sofa where you can sit there. There's lots of covered space at a, a 32 inch flat screen TV with air conditioning. Uh, the wardrobes are very ample. There's lots of room in the wardrobes for you to put all your clothes. Although you don't have too many clothes, by the way. Okay, and the view is second to no. Look at that for the view. Absolutely fantastic view. Beautiful view of the mountains over wide. Uh, every floor has a separate washing machine for your convenience. Okay, come on, this is where I live. Look here, you've got a small uh, a sitting area, a living area here with your TV. A small area to sit. There is a workstation here where I sit and do all my work. Then you've got a beautiful bedroom here with lots of light and air. Very, very cool at night. You come this way. You have a beautifully tiled bathroom there, which has hot and cold running water. Very nice. And we have a small galley kitchen here. All these things come um, with the apartment microwave kettle, fridge, everything there and um, also here we have a small balcony small balcony where you can come and sit, maybe eat your lunch relax, chill out look at the mountains sun goes down over there, very cool ok here we have a uh, separate shower uh, for people before they go to use the pool we're going to go to the pool we're going to go into the pool area right now this is our infinity pool very beautiful, as you can see. Mm 
I think it's maybe 15 meters, 15 meters long. I love to swim here in the evening when it's very quiet. There's very, very rarely any people up here. As you can see now, if you turn around this way, you can see we have a beautiful view over all the mountains and the sun goes down over there every day, which is very, very beautiful. This is a beautiful pool and a lovely place to relax. As you can see, we've got a very large uh, recreational area, lots of sunbeds, plenty of room to sit down and relax. Uh, I spend most of my days up here eating. I make my food downstairs and bring it up here to eat. This is Jim, the airy monster. If you look, you can stand here and we've got a 360 degree view of the whole of Wahoo. With the sea down there, you could go around to the mountains, maybe 20 minutes away. You've got mountain biking, hiking, trekking, whatever takes your fancy. Very beautiful, very peaceful. Okay, this is my gym, guys. We have got everything we need in here. Uh, we've got a full rack of weights, 2.5 pounds up to 25 pound dumbbells. Good bench, good area here. We've got two running, uh, two running treadmills, two bicycles, an elliptical machine, and there's also a Smith machine where you can do any exercise you want, squats, bench press, you name it, you can do it here. And also, if you, this is a very cool area to work out. All the doors open so the wind blows through all day. And if you come here, you can see, you can see the sea. What a beautiful view. 360 degrees of wagging on my rooftop. Sonica! 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 <laughs> Hello, who are you? I am Bo. Bo, can you tell me what Tony said to that woman? He says, Hong Shan Jet Tao Rai Krap. Slowly, slowly, please. Hong Shan Jet Tao Rai Krap. Hong, Hong, what does that mean? Hong is mean the room. Oh, okay, Chan. Shan is mean the door. Jet? Jet is mean seven. Can you teach me all of the numbers from 1 to 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Well, that's too many to remember. Can you do 1 to 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let me try. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah! Good. And 6 to 10? 6, 7, 8. Gao sip. Hog, jed, bad, gao, sip. Chai. So she said chan jed. Yes. So that's chan floor seven. Floor seven. Thank you. And then what? Tao rai. It means how much? Tao rai. Tao rai. And at the end, what did Tony say? He said crab. Crab? Yes. What is crab? Crab is polite for man. So when a man wants to speak nicely or polite, he will say crab at the crab. end of the sentence. Yes. What does a woman say at the end? Say ka. Ka. Ka for a woman. Ka or ka. And a man for crab. Crab. So again, what did Tony say to that woman? Hong chan jet tao rai crab. Hong chan jet tao rai crab. How much is the room on floor seven? And she said. Bad pan ha loi. Bad pan halo. Yes. So I know bad is eight. Mm -hmm. What is pan? Pan is the thousand. Thousand. So bad pan eight thousand. Yes. Ha loy. I know ha is five. Yes. What is loy? Loy is mean hundred. Ha loy five hundred. Yes. So she said eight thousand five hundred. Eight thousand five hundred. Thank you, Bob.
You're welcome. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here, the world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. Tony, this is Jim. I'm Tony, and he's Jim. <laughs>